hello guys i'm back from my lunch we went to bluebird in chelsea which is so nice i've never been to that restaurant before but i always see it and people always talk about it so it's really nice to go there and the food was so good so i would recommend if you're in london to visit bluebird chelsea because i really enjoyed it I just got back home first of all i want to talk about this cardigan because i've had so many messages i posted a picture on instagram like a mirror selfie and i've had so many messages about where this cardigan's from um, I think it's a brand called Arch4, but I found it on Netta Porter. I'm going to link it down below. And this is 100% cashmere. And my sister, actually when my sister saw it, she was like, oh, you bought another Kate Cardigan. And I was like, no, this is another brand. And this is like a third of the price of a Kate Cardigan. It's around £500. And for 100% cashmere cardigan in this kind of cut and fit compared to the Kate ones, which you guys know I love. Thought it was really good and i thought i would test it out and it comes in loads of different colors so it comes in like i think navy like neutral so if you're not into red there's other colors so i thought this could be a nice not a dupe but a nice alternative to the kate it's not as much as a kate and it is 100 percent cashmere but yeah i really enjoyed wearing these and i styled it with my navy ray trousers which you can't see but you would have seen earlier i love these trousers so much i've already worn them a couple of times since I've bought them, so I feel like they're definitely a good piece in my wardrobe. I never realized how much I was missing a navy pair of trousers from my wardrobe. So the reason I actually picked up the camera was because I came home to this delivery. To be completely honest with you guys, I did already unbox it because I was way too excited, but I put it all back in there and we can unbox it together as if it was the first time. This is what it is. So it's this little clutch that they do every Christmas, like festive time. They create this little clutch. I think last year it was a black leather one or the year before, I can't remember. And they're so pretty because they make it so that it's like a little clutch. It can be a bag. And then inside you have the lipsticks. They have this really gorgeous red one, which I don't know if it, on the camera it will show, but it looks almost velvet. Like it is so beautiful. I can't wait to try this on my lips because this just looks like such a gorgeous red and it just looks so velvety. It also comes with other shades so you can refill that lipstick with the different shades. So you've got like the nude colors, which is really pretty. And what is really nice about these is that you can actually take out this bit so you can actually use it as a bag and you have the lipstick holder in there. It also has this really nice detail, the CD on the side, on both sides where you attach the chain. So like you have it as a little bag or you can have it as a clutch. I'm going to link this down below. I know they always get sold out so quick because basically for the price of like makeup, you get a little Dior bag, which is such a clever idea. So I wanted to show you that because that was very exciting. I also got some new creams, face creams from Sisley, which I'm going to use tonight. So maybe we can do a little skincare routine tonight. I have some new skin products that I'm really excited to try. Especially this LED face mask thing because I've seen so much about it and the new face um, sculpting machine, the new face mini. I've seen so much about that on TikTok so I'm really excited to try that. So hopefully tonight if I'm not too tired after all the events, I will do that. So I have another event to go to in about an hour and then straight from that event I have a dinner. So I'm just putting my outfit together and I just received my mango order. And I ordered this top, you'll see it when I have it on. It's like an off the shoulder, sheer, long sleeve top in this really beautiful, like sage green color. And this reminds me of a top that I saw from Christopher Esper, which was like this in the same color. And this was a fraction of the price. And I thought I could style it with my Ray trousers. I thought these colors went quite nicely. So I'm gonna put that on and we'll see if this is a fit if not we'll have to come up with another outfit so i'm going to the Cezanne flagship store opening and then straight after that i'm going to a fragrance de bois dinner at harrods so it needs to be appropriate for that Cezanne opening like not too dressy but then also appropriate for a nice dinner and i feel like that is a good in-between outfit so we'll try it on and hopefully it looks good i'm really excited for the top so i hope it lives up to my expectations so i tried the top on and i'm obsessed i love it so much I've had to cut off the um, the hanger tags because they stick out, so I'd recommend doing that if you do get this top. But I absolutely love it. I've styled it with my Ray green khaki trousers. I'm going to style it with this YSL croc bag. And then I've got these Heaven Mayhem earrings and my Topshop black mules on. This top has exceeded my expectations. I love it so much. 
I'm wearing it with my pasties that I wear underneath, but you have to be conscious of like, if you're going to reach for something, this bit lifts up and then it kind of exposes you. So I'm gonna see tonight how it goes. Um, that's just one thing to keep in mind. I think for dinner it should be fine because I'm just gonna be using my knife and fork, being very delicate with it, but yeah. brand new fragrance, Voyage à Paris. And we have Nicola and Johnny with us today, who are uh, the original directors of the brand. So they've been with the brand since the very, very start. And they're still here 10 years. <laughs> ten years <later. laughs> For the 10 year anniversary, we wanted to go back to the roots of the brand. And the brand was born on the streets of Paris. It's inspired by that Parisian lifestyle of the patisseries and the luxury life. So that's what we wanted to do with Voyage à Paris. It has rum, it has honey, it has vanilla, it has tagette, which is a type of marigold. Um, so it's a very gourmand fragrance. Now all of you have in front of you a box, which if you want to, you can open, and it will have your very own Voyage à Paris inside. This, so, this is my set. This is for <gasps> you. Look at the box. We have some blotter cards. Can, so, uh, can you help uh, me? I'm going to ask you to take out your fragrance and oh. spray it on the card uh, so that you can try it. Oh, this is, yeah, it's stunning. So the name Voyage à Paris, it's a double entendre. It's the voyage of fragrance de bois from the streets of Paris to where we are now. Good. So Can you say nice. that one more time? Yeah. So good. Voyage of Paris. Yeah. This is stunning. You love it. I've, and I've not smelled something like so this before. So it has that beautiful oh, yeah. I, Do you know the brand so Initio? Nice food. Oh, yeah. I am like a, I love Initio. Oh, do you? Yeah, that's one of my favourite perfume brands. So it has food base. So it's oh, that's why I love it. it. Oh, Ah, oh, so look, this is what it, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So it's like perfect size for that handbag. <laughs> so good. Oh, it's not that key quality. Well, it's like a wonder what the weight is versus this versus the yeah, it's model. Not, it's, it's like so good. good. So what was the New York one we have to do? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to waste yours. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. Oh, I was like, oh. So are we layering? Yeah, so we're, we're layering. So we're going to do New York Intense first and then we're going to do Voyage of Paris on the trip from so this is taking like your this one. It's Paris nice, this autumn. one. This is one of our fashion capital rings. So this is the this autumn is what, one. Mm. Yeah. What is your best seller? This is autumn. Kipor. What are the notes? So for, for the New York Intense, we have blackberries, we have orange, we have some similar notes to the Voyage of Paris. We have mm -hmm. the vanilla, uh, the honey as well. So yeah. those notes will kind of collaborate together and you get a little bit more of the fruity notes mm -hmm. the blackberries and the orange. So guys, I just got back from the dinner which was so nice and I thought I would just do like a little unready together because I want to try I said I want to try some new skincare stuff so I thought we could try that today I know in the last vlog I said for the Lancome mascara you need this to take it off but then I ordered this on Amazon this is the Nivea waterproof eye makeup remover and this is a very good alternative and this is like $1.99 so this has been taken off the Lancome mascara for any of those who were interested the dinner today was so nice it was with fragrance de bois and i actually hadn't discovered that brand before like smelt the perfume so i was very excited to go 
today to the dinner to explore the fragrance and the fragrances are so good like so up my street the one that i really liked was the harrods exclusive it's called voyage something i can't remember i'll put the name on screen but it was so good like my kind of scent oody the scent really lasts like i could smell it on my hands after and my face is really weird also i use the excess of whatever's on this pad to just take off some of my makeup like i really liked the fragrances because they really smell like the kind of fragrances that i like you guys know i am like a diehard initio fan i love initio fragrances and um i'm quite particular with the oody scents because i love initio so much but this new one smells incredible um i really really liked it it's got oud it's got vanilla it's like all this the notes that i really like because i love a sweet oud and that one was a very nice sweet oud that actually i can still smell which means it's very good i find that fragrance doesn't really last long on me so if there is one that does that means it's very good um but as you might have heard in the footage um from the dinner the length the duration of a fragrance on someone's skin totally depends on the person and like their body oils and their chemistry so fragrance is a very individual thing dinner was at studio franson in harrods and that restaurant i think is one of my favorite restaurants in london it is del every time i've been there the food has not disappointed the the food is just such good quality and so delicious and if you do go to studio franson i would highly recommend getting their bread it's like a cross between a croissant and bread and they have this like i think it's like a miso honey butter that you have it with it's just so delicious they also do a really amazing beetroot mocktail so if you ever go to studio franson get the bread and get the beetroot mocktail it is delicious today we had the fish with rice and it was just the food is just unreal like i really really like studio franson so i'm gonna add that to my list of restaurant recommendations also today was the first day after getting my hair cut that i straightened my hair and learned that i don't really like it when my hair is straight because i think with this hairstyle it looks nicer when that fringe when that fringe bit is um a bit wavy like it doesn't look bad the bob just looks like my old bob but i think i much prefer the kind of natural hair look aquifer always okay i have this new face device which i keep seeing videos on tiktok on and it's supposed to like sculpt and lift your face and i have been waiting for the right opportunity to try this and you use this hydrating aqua gel to help it glide on your face this is what it looks like and this is the microcurrent activator so this has microcurrents in it and it's supposed to like it visibly lifts your face because it's sending microcurrents um so i'm really excited to try it i've not used this before so smooth aqua gel onto clean skin in sections before using your new face okay That has is it just me or has that, has that lifted the side of the face? Oh my god. So there's different levels to it and I have it on the third. I'm doing all of this prep on my skin and like wanting to lift my face because um, I have a shoot with Harrods and Tiffany on Friday. It's a six o'clock in the morning shoot because anytime you do a shoot with Harrods or in Harrods, you have to film before the store opens. So it means a 6 a.m. start day. Full face of makeup, hair and makeup. I'm gonna bring you guys along to that because I think that's gonna be a really nice day and we can vlog that. It's really exciting for me to be able to work with Harrods and Tiffany um, and bring you guys along. And I'm really excited for that content. So I just want my face to look snatched because True won't be filming this and True knows all my good angles, but when it's like an external team, you just have to go with what they want. So if they want to film one side of my face, I have to let them film that side of my face and everyone has a good side i have a good side so i just need to make sure my whole face is a good side which is why i'm prepping it with this and i feel like it actually is making me look more snatched my face always gets puffy i hold a lot of like um water in my face so i think things like this work really well for me um 
because even sometimes when I watch my vlogs there'll be some vlogs where my face looks really puffy and then literally maybe the next day my face looks like a different shape so I'm trying to keep my face one shape if that makes sense also this kind of feels like I can feel the little currents it's like a little prickly feeling it doesn't hurt uh, you know I have like the lowest pain tolerance it just feels very prickly and it says to use it five for five minutes every day for a certain amount of time to see best results. I'm going to stick to doing it. I'm going to keep this in the bathroom with the gel and I'm going to try and stick to the timeline, the time frame that they suggest using it because I actually want to see results but I feel like instantly I saw this side just looked more snatched and lifted which is crazy because then imagine if with continuous use what it's going to be like I have one more thing that I want to use I've never gone like this in depth with my skincare routine like I don't normally take this much time but I need this face to be perfect for the Harrod shoot okay so next up I have this which I'm going to use this is the current body LED face mask and this is the most powerful face mask available to buy right now I believe it's supposed to help with anti-aging skin texture, skin firmness, inflammation um, and it's supposed to be like a 10 minute treatment and you just put it on your face and then you charge up and you press this. I have not used this yet but I'm excited to use this because this is supposed to also be really good for inflammation and I've been breaking out a lot recently and sometimes if your skin has inflammation you can break out um, but this is supposed to be one of those ones where you see like immediate results. It kind of instantly brightens the face, makes it firmer, like these are all things that I never tried anything like this before but I've always heard such good things about LED face masks in general and like these at home treatments so I'm very excited to use this so let's put this on my face also the good thing about this is that you um, you can just like because it's portable you don't have to plug it in you can just walk around the house like this <laughs> and it's only 10 minutes okay so I'm gonna be like this for 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and we can take this off so I'm just going to go sit on the bed on my phone but this is very cool okay so the 10 minutes are up and the light just goes off quite nice it felt like a little bit warming also I hate these bits of hair that come out okay so now I'm going to do my regular skincare I'm going to use this serum this is the Evidence de Beauté Blemish Out Concentrate I think it has tea tree oil in it um, but this is supposed to be really good for like blemishes and it's an oil which is really nice and then for eye cream i'm gonna use this is the pericone md cold plasma plus eye cream and then for my face cream i'm gonna use the my blend revitalizing cream to finish it all off my revital lash which i just put on my lashes and that is my skincare routine done my skin looks like it's glowing okay i'm gonna get ready for bed now Good morning. Good morning. What dress are you wearing? This dress, I don't know what the brand is. I think it's J.W. Anderson. No? What to me ask? It's Destry. 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 These what? are the John Vito Rossi boots. And then the Roman Rose coat. And then wearing this coat. Which I really like. Let's see your final outfit. Very nice. Yeah? I'm gonna 
tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you Guys, we can do a bit of window shopping right now. This is the hardware collection, which alongside the Tiffany T is one of my favorite collections. This is on the wish list. The big chunky necklace, I love it. Also, did you see this necklace that I'm wearing? Love it. Also, this whole outfit I want. I think I'm gonna have to get this coat. Right? It's yeah, such a good coat. As well. yeah. like, Oh. The back. And then the jewelry. <laughs> I love it. Me one know about my love, so I really hope you love me too. Yeah, I really hope you love me too. I'm gonna tell you, gonna tell I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Very good, very happy. I also met one of my old colleagues in the Harrods Tiffany store, which was such a like nice moment. I used to work with her. And now I'm here shooting this campaign, so it was really nice. And yeah, we're almost done. We're just filming the last scenes outside with the green doorman. And then I think it's a wrap. And I had to take off that gorgeous hardware necklace, which is on my wish list. It's 57,000. 57,000. <laughs> They're doing an opening of the um, Scaparelli pop up. They're setting it up. It is so cute. And look up, and it's that like bright shade of baby pink. I'm gonna shout it out.